Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I want to show you the different settings in Stable Diffusion Comfy UI Animate. We'll explore how to move in Automatic 1111 and discuss the various results you can achieve with each setting. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of the different outcomes you can expect based on the settings you choose. So make sure to watch till the end, as you might find something truly inspiring. And also, we are comparing the video smoothness of both extension and stable diffusion. So, first we start automatic 1111 for move to move. In here, I'm generating another dancing demo video. And I'm using this settings here with control net enabled. I'm using line art and DW open pose and put control net is more important for DW open pose. We don't need to use the movie editor in this extension so we can close that. We are more focused on this settings, especially for smoothness of videos. We are more focusing on the denoising strength and the noise multiple. So once again, if you need to set up move to move in stable diffusion, automatic 1111. Head over to extensions tab, go to available and load the extensions list. You can search move to move in the search bar. Install it and restart your web UI. Now I have installed it already, so I don't need to do this step. Now the latest update of move to move by default is going to display menu tab beside image to image. So the extras tab is going to be after it. Now let's check out results with different settings that we have generated. As you can see, I'm using the denoising strength 0.55 it looks smooth but the character outfit is not consistent this is one of the problems of using move to move that the ai generate each image frames and it do not create consistent backgrounds or outfit now in this testing i am trying to set higher the denoising strength to 0.75 because i want my prompt appear on the background now you will see another problem appear by using move to move with this method. As you can see, there is a background of trees that I did in the text prompt, but if we frame is not consistent and it caused flickering a lot. And on this example, I set the denoising lower to 0.65. The background trees are gone. So by using frame by frame images and stitching back into an animation video is not an ideally method. And let's switch to Comfy using Animatedif, see how this game changing. As my subscribers, you guys have already know that we have Comfy UI workflows for Animate Diff animation. And this time I'm just using the basic video to videos animations with travel prompts workflow. This can do the similar feature as the move to move and automatic 1111, but the outcome result is better. Now, let me lower down the frame numbers just for demo purpose. And also in travel prompts, the max frame number. Now, if you want this workflow, you can check out our Patreon community. Links in the description below. Let's execute the prompt and wait for the result. It's one of the really good thing in the Comfy UI that I can preview how is the process going from chopping each frame into image and the control net preview. Also, I can see how it's the progress of the animate diff is loading. Well, I don't get paid for promoting this, but you know, this is open source software and I'm just using it as my own opinion. I have to declare that because YouTube is kind of, you know. Okay, the result is generated. As you can see when I'm using the default setting 0.55 in control net strength, the output video is just like the original one, except it's performed in 3D or anime cartoon style way. This depends on the checkpoint model. The movement and the smoothness of the video is way better. Yes, as one of the subscribers have commented before and said, we need an animate model to work on this, cannot use control net only. And yes, I agree, this is a lot better than image frames by frame stitching back into a video file. With the animate diff AI model, it just a game changer. So I have generated two result with the same settings and it is very consistent. Okay, so another test is that how can we change background of our animation? Well, I have used and other testing demo videos that have a closer lookup of the character and I am setting the control net strength to 
to 0 0.2. Let's wait and see this result. So there you have it. The AI do follow my travel prompt to run this. There are tree on the background rather than only having solid color like the source video. And here's my travel prompt. As you can see, the result do follow this prompt. And here's the outcome. So I hope this tips and tricks do help with using Animate Diff with ControlNet. If you like this kind of tutorial and tips and tricks, please give us a like, subscribe, and share our videos to help us fight the big Y algorithm. We also have a Patreon community in case we have any problems here again. So I will catch up with you guys in the next video. Uh, maybe that will be next week, Monday. Stay creative and have a nice day.